guys, one final headline here of note, something here close to us here at home. Obviously, Fordham men's basketball, their season concluded earlier in the week in the first round of the A-10 championship. They fell to GW 53-49. to Obviously, earlier in the season, they fired head coach Jeff Neubauer. Interim head coach Mike DePauli took over for the rest of the season. But college basketball writer Adam Zagoria recently reported that Fordham is looking and focused on three candidates for its vacant head coaching position. That would be Bryant head coach Jared Grosso, St. Peter's head coach Shaheen Holloway, and former Penn State coach Pat Chambers, who, as we all remember, stepped down for the program back in October of 2020 for some inappropriate comments said to former guard Razier Bolton. DeLuca, we've seen this play out for the last few years with Coach Neubauer. We thought this was going to happen. It indeed did happen. Now a huge decision this upcoming offseason to see who will lead this program moving forward. What do you think about this list of three candidates? Do you think that these are the three guys that Fordham should be keying in on? Well, it's interesting. And perhaps it wasn't exactly what I had expected. There was some reporting early on that perhaps Luke Murray of Louisville would be someone who would factor into the potential coaching decision as someone who is a veteran of the A-10 as an assistant coach back at Rhode Island and others. So he was somebody who I expected to factor in a little bit more. But uh, Grasso is someone who has definitely been on the radar. Holloway, a little bit of, of a surprise, and I think a dark horse in this race. I'd be, I'd be a little surprised if, if Shaheen Holloway ends up being the head coach at Fordham. And Chambers, again, it's, it's the situation where you have confidence in his ability to coach, but some of the off-the-court stuff, is this the right time? Is this someone who – you know, on, on the surface, we can speculate all you want, but it's really on Ed Cole and the administration to get an understanding of the type of person that they're bringing in. Are they comfortable with that or not, depending on, on the interview process? And that's really the only way to know. There, there's nothing I will say that is necessarily poor about Pat Chambers' basketball resume. I think it's worthy of that opportunity, but I think there's a lot more that goes into it. For me, it's Jared Grasso. That's the person who I think would be the best fit of those three, former interim head coach at Fordham in 2009, a three-year head coach at Bryant, and somebody who's really done a good job in turning that program around. I know the 39-42 record in, in his three seasons doesn't necessarily jump off the page, but this year, 14-5, and 10-4 and four in the Northeast, and, and that's their best record in Division I history. So this is somebody who's really done a good job of turning that program around, someone who knows New York knows the Northeast, New Jersey, and, and someone who I think would translate well to a head coaching job at Fordham. Uh, given the list of these three, I think Grasso would be my leader in the club, clubhouse, excuse me. But of course, again, to me, Pat Chambers is the wild card and just understanding what those conversations are like and, and where he's at in his life right now, I think makes a big deal to understand what's going on with him. But I would leave Grasso at the moment based upon this report. Yeah, I um I like the Pat Chambers idea, of course, like you said though, Nick, it all depends on on the the off the court issues and whether or not those can be fully resolved and forgiven. Um he led Penn State twenty eighteen to twenty six and thirteen record. That was his highest uh Big Ten finish in his tenure. I also like the idea of taking a coach from the Big Ten. Uh, a lot of competitive teams in that conference, of course. Uh so I think that could be a very interesting idea. Um Fordham is in need of a you know a new kind of spark here uh, after another tough tough finish in the tournament. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, but if if I had to pick, hopefully all the off court issues could be could be uh, resolved. I'll go Pat Chambers. Yeah, Duluk, I'd have to lean your way. I think Grasso is the leader right now at the moment between these three. Obviously, he was a former interim head coach at Fordham back in in 2009. And you mentioned that 14-5 and five record. It's the team's best record in D1 history. And I think Grasso is somebody who understands New York, and that's the guy you're going to have to bring in, somebody who can recruit in-state and around the mid-Atlantic area because there's so much talent through these pipelines that that's where you kind of have to focus on. So I think Grasso is Holloway is, I don't know if he's going to leave St. Peter's. And I think he's kind of underperformed given the expectations coming from Seton Hall. I don't think he is, that team has been as good as I think many expected. And then just Pat Chambers, this is what I would say. Everyone deserves a second chance in life, but considering the gravity of this decision for the program moving forward, I just don't think, you can be in the business of giving out second chances. You have to hit a home run here, and I'm not sure Pat Chambers is that. 
DeLuca, you also mentioned Murray uh, from Louisville. I think Kyle Neptune from Villanova, you know, being a longtime member of Jay Wright's staff, I think he's somebody that could also be in the mix. But again, as I mentioned, this is a decision for this program. It is massive. It's monumental. They have to hit on this pick correctly. And if you're giving me those three guys, I would have to put my confidence in Jared Grosso. I think he is the guy who could potentially, with what he's been able to do turning around Bryant, uh, we got to see Bryant play last year. They beat Fordham, and that team was so well coached. I think Jared Grosso, with this, with these three candidates, I think Jared Grosso was the right guy for the job moving forward. But again, the season just ended a few days ago, and I'm sure it will be a long spring for uh, uh, now athletic director Ed Cole and that entire athletic department to find the next guy under the helm for Florida men's basketball. Yeah, and I think it's important to take into consideration in this whole situation, like what what is the interest in the job? I mean, there's no it's no secret that this has not been a place where people have won in a long time. So I think that that's also something to take into account. And, and the financial situation, of course, is also – something to to be considered and you mentioned some other names in addition to those three who apparently are, are the people that Fordham is zeroing in on Orlando Antigua at Kentucky and yeah. then at Illinois too would be another guy who I think would be someone who, who just has displayed a really great ability to recruit now is that someone who's in Fordham's price range and someone who would have interest in coming to Fordham I'm sure with some of the openings elsewhere that he would have an opportunity there as well. So someone else to keep in mind. But I think right now, based upon the reporting, Jared Grasso would be someone who, who I'd lean. But again, I think Pat Chambers is someone you can't necessarily sleep on just as someone who, who knows how to, to recruit and, and has been successful at that level. But again, there's always that caveat in understanding what you are getting from a personal level which is something, of course, that we are not privy to. So all you're doing is speculating at this point, but should be interesting and, and hoping to get that decision sooner rather than later so we can talk about it because it's, it's really interesting and something that's important for the program going forward.